Welcome to Caddy Quick Clips, your quick guide to successful drawing and modelling with Caddy. In this video we're going to take a look at how we can prepare a finished printed drawing from our AEC model uh, and do it very very quickly. Here we have in preview, so we're, uh, we have our elevations front to back and the two sides. Uh, and let's have a look at how that relates to our model. So we'll close the preview and we'll go to our, our drawing model here. And this is the model that we have. So how do we get from the model here to the elevations? Well, let's take a look at it. In stages, firstly we'll choose our render mode. Hidden line is the one that we need for our elevations, so we'll move, uh, so we'll change our view to that mode. Then we can use our 3D views, which we can find up here, and here I've just created a little toolbar just to make it very quick, quick and easy to move from front, back, left, and right. So if we go for a front view here, so we've got our, our view there set, and all we want now is a viewport of it. So we will create our sheet, so here's our, our sheet, we'll go to Caddy Tools for Sheet, come down to the Sheets Tools and configure it there. What we'll also find is that we now have on the right click on the sheet the ability to set this up as well. So we can set up our, our sheet from here, so we can choose, in this case uh, I'm going to choose a, a PDF printer, you can choose a, your normal printer or PDF printer, whatever. Um, we've got our plot style there, and we've got the sheet size. So we're going to go for an A1, an ISO A1, and OK to that. So there is our A1 sheet. We want to now produce the view viewport of that on our drawing sheet. Rather than use the, the ones for the plan viewports, we'll this time capture the viewport from the model space. So if we choose the zoom store one and that takes us straight back to the model space it says what layout sheet do we want to place the viewport on so we'll choose sheet 2 because that's the one we've just set up it says what scale do we want it, 1 to 50 so we'll ok that and we get our viewport so I'll move it over to the left hand side at the top there to get the, the elevational view to appear we just press R on the keyboard for regen and there is our elevational view we can now go back to our model space and choose, say, the right-hand elevation. We can then go back to our capturing viewport tool over there on the left, back again to sheet 2, and we have the same scale, so 150. Now, you notice that we're at the centre of the viewport there, so what we want to do is make sure it's nice and uh, nicely lined up. So if we choose our additional snap mode here for midpoint of line, we can actually snap onto there and then if we notice that uh, if we do a regen so there is our view but we can pick our viewport which we selected and using the tab key to, to lock it horizontally we can uh, pull it over there uh, we can bring in the sides there just to make it a little neater again just pick it up and, and just tailor exactly where we want that to appear on our sheet we can go back to the model space once again, choose the rear elevation, again capture the, the view onto sheet 2 at 150, and we can put that down over on the bottom right in this instance. A quick regen to make that appear. Back to our model space, which is the left hand view. Capture the view once, it, once again, sheet 2, 150. Again, choosing our additional snap mode to midpoint of the line, or if you're using auto snap with midpoint set, you can do that as well. We could move it over in the, before we place it, but if we just do a regen, there we see it. We can literally pick that up and move it across to get to, to where we want to, and then, then just pull in the sides of the viewport as we feel that we want to. Go to our print and just go to a preview. and elevations of our, our model very, very quickly. And if you'd like to print out a 3D view of your model, either on the same sheet or maybe on a new sheet, here we're going to create 
the new sheet. So we'll just go to new sheet, we'll choose our, our printer, choose our print style, and we can change any of the other settings that we wish to as well. So there we have our, in this case, an A3 sheet. We can go to our model, and then if we get to the view of our model that we, we wish to take, And here I've changed to perspective mode rather than axonometric, so we have a uh, perspective view of our model to place onto our sheet. We'll capture the view of our model, place it on the sheet that we require. This time we'll do an auto fit, so that gives us a choice between scaling it in the viewport or having it uh, it's just fitted to a particular area on the sheet. So we'll pick our area, being pretty much the whole sheet, and now we have our 3D view of our model. You can find more information on Caddy on our website, www.caddysoftware.com. And check out the Caddy Software channel on YouTube for more tips and tricks on using Caddy.